Hello there, I'm Forge Tech, and today we're going to talk about the tips behind cliffside camping. Now, there's a lot of good reasons to build a camp on the wall. You, you know, bears being the, one of the biggest ones, because bears will try to kill you. Lots of things in this game will try to kill you when you're hunting the boss type creatures. Having a camp that they can't reach. Or just having a nice area for the middle of a storm to drop by or to take out a bear. Now... First off, location. And I'm not going to show you a specific build. I'm going to give you the tips behind this. Number one is location. You want a nice flat wall like this. See over here, it's got that rough exterior. You can still build there, but I would have to build to the shape of the wall there. And it would be much more difficult to build a large base. Now, I will be using it in five minutes after this. But I know a lot of people like clicking up here. Don't do that. You want to actually put your first block on the ground, slightly embedded in the wall. And the reason you do this is the moment you place anything, the game aligns. And because the game is aligned, you are now going to be able to build one. And there we go. I got a blue. Well, now I'm exactly two stories up. And that comes into a very big... Oh, now I can just do this. I'm watching the blue. All right, now I've got four blues. I'm going to build a nice little four by three. That's a pretty good size normal base. You don't have to build this all at once. Now, you want to make sure that you anchor these. Now, the actual supports, they don't really explain this very well they actually can lift more weight than the actual floors can. So if you anchor these like this, and I'm going to leave this one not done, that's going to actually give you increased carry capacity on this. And now, I know a lot of people hate ladders. I'm, I don't like ladders. They need to work on those. But, look at this. Now I've got a perfect walkway up. I can walk up. I've never seen a bear do it, but I've never seen any wolves or bears do it. I've never seen them walk up this. If they start to, you can just blow the ladder by just pressing Y. Now you're completely isolated up here. You're too far up for anything to hit you up here. And you got this nice little area. Also, see, that's another nice thing. If I slip and fall off of this, I'm just far enough up that I won't take damage. Now, I just run right up. And there you go. Look at this. I got a nice big old area. Now, here's the starting point. What I do is, as you see, these are green. As I get over here, this, however, is yellow. In fact, you hear that noise? That is the wall slowly dying. Because this is cracking because it's not properly supported. Exact same area over here. And if I put more weight on it, the cracks will expand. Now, I grab my supports. Look at that. And that's why you use your supports. Now, sometimes the game calculates weird. And you'll hear a cracking noise, even though you haven't broken anything. I don't know what's up with that, but there we go. Look at that. I've got this entire area, just a few moments. I can place a little door here. Now, the reason I put the door there is you have a platform right here that you can walk up to. And we'll put... Go, a little wall here. Now I got a platform. I can just walk right up. I have a nice spot here for a rainwater collector. Got plenty of space out here to look around. And I go up this. Now I built this because this is the way most people do this. This is not the way you're going to want to do this. And here's why. By me knocking out these couple of pieces, I use this instead. And by simply swapping it out, I'm 
Now, as soon as I come up here, I can just... Well, now I'm up on the roof. I've got this. Instead of needing an entire another space and more weight, I've got my stairs already built in. I got a nice little cubby hole right here for any type of storage I want. Good place for your air maker. And uh, you want to take the heaviest objects you have, like your furnace and stuff, and put over here next to the cliff side. Now, you do want to make sure, because once again, every cliff is slightly different. Sometimes you're inside, sometimes you're not. So you want to make sure that you see that sheltered marker. I build like this. Once again, we want to make sure that those do not go red. Now, once we get that done, now we can see here, this is a nice yellow. Means it's a little bit stressed out. Up here is a good bright green. Down here is a good bright green. Now, we could actually reinforce... Let's say that you were still having some weight issues. You could build like this. Build an extra couple reinforcements. Like you wanted to build another four up here. You could, but you want to make sure that anchors into the wall. And once you see it go blue, it's anchored. Be like this one. That one's not blue. But what we do, we want to come back and anchor that. Now that one's blue. That gives us maximum weight. Only going to do a basic one through the middle. That's going to give us a nice, good, solid. As you can see, nothing is breaking. Nothing's cracking as I walk across it. All of this has a nice color to it. Nothing building and breaking and everything like that. Now, that's a lot of room where wolves and other animals can't get to you. You can use other materials as well. And a lot of it's just going to be trial and error on your part. But this is just kind of the basics. Now. The next up is we're going to talk about defenses now you can build a lot of really fancy and crazy inventions that's great i found the simplest way to defend a cliffside base is once again the humble support beam what you do is you do this number that's a little bit wonky but it works Now, of course, you're going to want to make sure you're up off the ground enough that bears can't reach it. I would normally add more supports, but this is just a tutorial. But see, now look at this. I can stealth down walking across this. Bears are relatively large. They like hiding directly underneath you. Because of this, I can just shift slightly to either side and give myself a perfect area to shoot them with. Now, depending on your height, you might want to make this a little bit higher up. <clears throat> Another nice thing is, and most people don't pay attention to this, when you are stealthed, the game literally stops you from falling. Look at this. I literally cannot fall off of this. I'm walking straight on. So, by stealthing, you don't have to worry about falling to the bear. Another nice one is, you step onto this, stealth down. Straight up on the top. It is literally that simple. I can just walk straight up and over. Won't let me walk off the side if I'm stealthed. And there you go. You got your simplistic defense. No high cost. No ridiculousness. And another nice one is... As I was saying before, I'd show you a quick one for this is if you just walk straight over to a wall like this, let's say you're in an area with a ton of bears, you can just 
Click down once again, activating the snap. And... You got yourself a quick, easy anti-bear platform that costs basically nothing. If the thing would ever snap, I wish they would actually fix this. There we go. Then I just tear this one up. Since I'm still snapped to it. For some weird reason it popped over there. Okay, but like I said, it's quick, easy. You don't have to do anything. I've literally built and like this one, see, it's not touching the ground. As such, it's cracking. So you want to go down and place an extra. It immediately heals. You can even see that it's become blue itself. Now I'm up here. Simple, easy. I mean, it's there's just almost nothing to it. I can't fall. I can't slip. I have perfect angle on the bear. There's literally no place to hide. And bears are big, so their furry butts are in trouble by using that. So there you go. You got a good, simple base that you can figure out and learn and build. Just be on the watch out for anything starting to crack. If you don't see a crack, that's it. And now with the farming upgrade that they just added literally today, you can even use this area, direct sunlight, and grow, and as far as I saw, they grow significantly faster. So, with this big open area, figure each of these tiles are about four farming plots. I mean, you could have an entire farm up here. I mean, you got a farm, you got a water thing, you got your air maker, I mean furnace multiple benches you can pop some windows in here maybe a nice balcony uh you could build an entire colony all you'd have to do is continue along the cliffside wall there you go i said everything done easy to go very simple it's i think that everyone thinks that you have to build these ridiculously over complex you know, reinforce supports underneath, sloping designs, and, you know, like everyone thinks you have to do this sort of up underneath build. And yeah, that actually does help. I'm not going to lie. If you're building a really complicated structure, you might want to do this. But for a quick, easy base, this is all you need. It is that simple. Just quick little easy it goes up. You literally saw me do it flat out and with that i hope it helps people if it helps you and you want to see more types of me building stuff like and subscribe and i've left my discord in the description if you want to join us and talk about other sandbox games or icarus and with that i hope you have a good weekend